we are in my car and I thought I would do some vlogging for the first time in a couple of years actually. I'm not much of a vlogger. I just never had the right equipment for it and um, my husband got me this little thing that sticks to the window in my car and it holds my iPhone and it doesn't obscure my vision or anything like that so I'm able to safely vlog. So I thought I would just take you with me a little bit this week. I don't know if I'm just going to vlog today or if I'm going to vlog a little bit each day and then put it together in a video. So by the way, it's beautiful here in the Midwest where I live. I'm going to turn you around so you can see the leaves and the color changes going on. So I am just going to pull over and be safe and flip the camera around and show you a little bit of my neighborhood. All right, I'm sitting in Starbucks drive through just waiting for my turn to get up to the window and get my beverage. And then I thought I have to go to Marshall's or TJ Maxx to get my son some pants. <laughs> he grew so much. He's 15 years old, but he's already six, a little over six feet tall. So it's really hard because he's thin, but he's very tall. So it's hard to find pants that fit him in the width and also fit him in the length. So um, I've been kind of hunting around and um, he likes track pants, like those Adidas track pants or Under Armour track pants. That's what all, all the kids his age wear, all the cool kids wear. So that's what he wants. So I'm heading to TJ Maxx or Marshalls and seeing what I can find there. Okay, I've got my pumpkin cream cold brew. It's only, well, it's not hot drink weather yet. It's almost 60 degrees. It's a little bit chilly though because the sun's not shining and I'm not ready to switch over to hot drinks yet. I drink hot coffee, one cup of hot coffee in the morning and then my second cup is usually on ice or something like this. So um, yeah, I really like this. The other thing, my husband, I have been driving a Honda Odyssey for um, the past five years and we traded that in for a little SUV for me this year because last winter here in Illinois, it was horrible. I had several incidents where I couldn't even get my van up our driveway. We got, are on an incline and I couldn't get my van up on the incline and my daughters are both in college, one in central Illinois and the other one in Wisconsin and I make a lot of trips to see them so we decided enough of this so we got a little SUV for me. So you're in it now and I just love the the gray interior. It's a really light gray. Usually I would go with darker colors because my kids were younger but now they're older and they don't mess up my car as much. So we went with lighter gray. I am happy to be back. It's still sort of a mom car. It's just like a little crossover SUV um, but it's not as a, much of a mom car as my minivan, so I, I think it's kind of fun to drive in something different. Plus, I'm a little bit higher up. I sit higher up, so I, I really like that. Okay, I'm at a red light again. I will turn you back on once I get somewhere exciting. Okay, so I'm pulling into the parking lot of the strip mall that has my Ulta. It has the Old Navy store, Bed Bath & Beyond. And Marshalls. It has a Ross dress for less. And I come here quite often <laughs> to do some everyday shopping and errands and things like that. Well, I did not strike out at Marshalls. I found my daughter's the cutest coats. I had been reading about these coats on Amazon that get like a really great rating. And they're supposed supposedly the women in New York who, you know, send their kids to like these private schools, they, I don't even know who these women are, they're kind of like um, the socialite women, have found these coats on Amazon and it got a lot of buzz and they just are flying off the shelf, supposedly, at Amazon. But it is a really, really cute coat and it's about $130. And then I did see that they had the same coat that Sam Edelman makes, the same style, everything similar and it's about $130 at Nordstrom. Well, I was just in Marshalls and I thought they were the cutest coats. And I'm gonna show you, I got one in black for one daughter and one in khaki for the other. And so they have um, 
a fleece lined hood. They're orange on the inside. And then I'm gonna have to probably show this to you at home. They're just really puffy. And you know what? I'm gonna have to show this to you at home. There's just no way to show it to you right now and do it justice. But they were $39.99. So I am super psyched. I tried them on. My daughters wear the same size I do. And they are super duper cute. So I'll show those okay, to you so later. So this is the coat. This is for one of my daughters. And it's got like, all these nice pockets, some deep pockets here, pockets here. And then you can get more room in the hips if you need it by unzipping the zippers on the side. There's one on each side and it's really puffy. It's down filled, so it's super duper cozy, warm. It feels like I'm wrapped in a down comforter. I'm gonna try it on in the other color for my other daughter, so hang this on. It's the same coat in black. And the other thing I want to show you is it has snaps here. So it's expandable here too. So if you have a big bulky sweater on or something like that, you feel like you need a little more room here, you can expand it. And like I said, you can expand it on the sides. And um, it's just really cute. And the hood really covers everything. So it'll be really warm for them. It has ribbing around the sleeve, so no snow or ice can get up in the there. The other thing I wanted to show you, the other thing I wanted to show you is the cute orange lining. So it's orange on the interior. And this is the brand that TJ Maxx or Marshalls where I got it. And ta-da! So it is a very, very nice little jacket coat. Um, I would say for zero temperatures. If you're going to go below zero, which we do here in the Midwest, you might need another layer beneath it because it is down, but it's, you know, it's not super duper bulky. So I don't know. I'll have to report back and let you know, but lots of zippers, kind of cool. Just really cute. Something else I wanted to share with you is that I have colored my hair with a boxed dye. I mixed a couple boxed dyes um, because many of you who watch my watch me because of my hair coloring videos, my strawberry blonde hair at home videos, have asked me if I had any recommendations for boxed dye because I purchased my hair color at Sally Beauty Supply and I get Wella Color Charm. So I did go ahead and go to the drugstore and find some Clairol, nice and easy box dye, and I dyed my hair. I'll, I'll include some clips after this. To the store today and I purchased these two nice and easy box hair colors, and I got one of them in 8G, medium golden blonde, and 8R, medium reddish blonde. The medium, I usually go with light golden blonde in my Wella Color Charm and Titian Red Blonde in my other color that I mix with Color Wella Charm. But many of you have asked me to do a box mix, something that would be more convenient for you just to run into Walgreens or CVS or whatever your drugstore is and um, see how the color comes out. So I'm about to do a patch test right now to see how my hair color comes out if I mix both of these equally and then apply it to a small place on my hair. And if it does come out, I will go ahead and just do an all over color with this. So I will update you momentarily. And this is the finished color and I'm super happy with it. I am really, really happy with it that I think I'll even continue doing this color because I think it's so, it's a little more vibrant than what I was getting with the Wella Color Charm that was a little too, well, I guess I could have tweaked it. I could tweak it and get this color, but this is kind of a no-brainer. You just mix two boxes, super easy. I get a big bottle from Sally Beauty Supply, and then I take the two boxed colors and put them in the big bottle, shake it up. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, and I got a much more vibrant color. The only thing is I need to see how long it lasts, if it fades much quicker than my well, a color charm. If that one is more long lasting, then obviously I'll stick with that one. But um, boxed color has come a really long way. There was really no odor, and not that I, nothing unpleasant that I could detect. And my hair feels so soft. 
I love the conditioners that come in those boxes. They are just like amazing. I wish you could get like a big bottle of it. <laughs> um, they leave your hair so soft and they like seal your cuticle and make your hair just look really shiny and nice. So anyway, I wanted to make sure I told you that and later in this vlog, I'll just show, you know, just a little bit of me doing that for those of you who would like to try it at home yourself. Even if you're not a strawberry blonde, um, I would recommend the Clairol Nice and Easy. It's impressed me. I haven't used boxed color in like eight years. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you. leave it video a couple of you have asked me how I get my hair up like this you know you've you've wanted to know how I do this little updo so I thought that in this vlog I would just show you it's so easy it's not worth doing an entire video on so I'm just gonna take it down and show you just how simple it is so what you're gonna need is a clip similar to these this is my favorite clip I got it at Ulta it's really tight and in it's got a good grip. This is also very, very good. It's from Walgreens. It's from Scunzi, the Scunzi brand. And these are the perfect size for my short, thick hair. When my hair was longer, I needed a bigger clip, a larger size. If my hair were shorter or thinner, I'd probably need a smaller one. So you can choose whatever clip will work to hold your hair. And so these are perfect for me right now. And since this is my favorite, let's go with this one. So all I do is take my hair in my hands like this, like I was gonna make a ponytail, give it one twist, and then some's gonna fall out and that's okay. And then I put the clip low, not high. So I put the clip down here and I try to grab, like, you know, I make sure that I've got the hair in it. It's very easy to kind of gauge with your hands. And then I just kind of fluff the hair out the top of the clip so it's just got like this little bouncy kind of waterfallish ponytail thing and then i take either my orabe dry texture spray or you could use a dry shampoo the dove refresh care fresh coconut is my favorite um and then i just give my hair like a little spritz all over to give it some texture kind of add to that kind of messy updo look so it's a little, little more relaxed you've got some texture in your hair and it looks like you know a mess kind of like a messy bun but it's a kind of like a ponytail i guess so that's how i do this updo that i've been wearing okay, recently. so this is the room where i film it's my master bedroom oh look at little toby there he's so cute hey tops what you doing what you doing, baby? Oh, and Rosie. Okay, you're not here to see my dogs. Um, my girls' room, they share a room now. Last time I did a house tour, my boys shared a room. Now my girls share a room. So my girl, that's my girls' room. They're never home. They're in college. And um, so I have a little deck off the master bedroom. And what I really like is that I've got a little kitchenette in here. I did have a microwave in here, but my daughter took it to college. So I've got my Keurig, my coffee cups and everything I need. And then in the winter, I just love this fireplace. It keeps the room so nice and warm and cozy. So I've got a fire going and um, so yeah, here's where I film, just right here in front of these two windows. Look at, you would see the trees outside. They're so beautiful. This fall right now is like peak season. So this is my little vanity. I talked about how it gets messy because it's made of glass. So some of you said you'd like to see it. And it's from Pier One Imports. So it's just a glass vanity. And I, that's, this is all my makeup in here. And I need to get something better, but <laughs> eyeshadow palettes. And here is foundations, concealers, blushes, and like just face makeup. And then up here is skincare that I'm not currently using. All my lipsticks are in these pouches in here. I can give you a tour of this if you wanna see this, but this is all my makeup. 
I keep what I'm currently like grabbing for every day in the drawers. And then I just have my makeup brushes. I have more in the top drawer. Eyelash curler, odds and ends, makeup wipes. Um, just, you know, just stuff that I'm grabbing for all the time. My nightstand, and on my nightstand is the stuff I'm currently using every night. I do have a candle, a Mrs. Meyers candle. And I have Sarah Hap Lip Slip. I have my Luna Oil. Um, I have my Ren Moroccan Rose Oil. And I have my Kakai Oil and my Derma E Oils. The things I use before bed. I always keep a tumbler of water next to my bed. I drink this when I'm in bed. And then whatever purse I'm currently using, I keep here on this little stool. I recently changed into this purse. I got this at Nordstrom Rack. They still have them there. Um last year last spring and it's just a really beautiful tory birch black bag you can, nordstrom rack has great tory birch that you really can't find it's almost like a tory birch outlet kind of bags but anyway super nice thick um thick leather and i think it's really pretty for fall time so i'm using that bag right now here's my perfumes that i'm currently using i have some new perfumes i've been trying that i'll share with you but um this is my i've been using this since i was 18 years old my beautiful friend Allie sent this to me i love it i've got this on today woman by ralph lauren prada candy um coach and this is Modern Muse Rouge by Estee Lauder. Another Ralph Lauren. I love all Ralph Lauren fragrances. I really haven't found one I, I don't like. This one is Romance. When I was a teenager, before I got my real grown-up perfume, the only perfume I wore was Lorraine by Ralph Lauren. I would love to find a bottle of that and revisit that one. And then Estee Lauder Sensuous. I was hooked on Estee Lauder Sensuous Noir. N-O-I-R. Am I saying that right? Um, and I ran out. And I went to reorder it and they don't make it anymore. So I did get this one. I like it. I like it a lot but not as much as the nighttime one, the Noir. I like more um, kind of unisex fragrances, a little bit some, with some masculine notes, vanilla, jasmine, um, patchouli, you know, things like that. So um, like this one is really nice. It's a little sweet. I don't grab for this one a lot, but I do enjoy it. So I, I do keep it. My mom gives me my fragrances for gifts. My husband never buys me fragrances. He knows if he does, this is the one because this is the one I've always worn. This is kind of like my signature scent, but I do like changing things up. Oh, and this is a really nice candle, lavender and chamomile for your bedroom. Super rela relaxing, just a beautiful candle. You can get them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Let's see, is there a tag on this one? Yep. TJ Maxx, $6.99. They always have them. Um, my dad and my girls when they were little. And then a little thing here that one of my kids made for me. Mother. And it like tells all the traits of me that describes me as a mother. I'm just a big candle. I'm not big on knickknacks and things like that because I don't like a lot of clutter. I was going to change into this wallet because it matches my purse. But here's the problem. The purse is black on the inside, and so you can't see the wallet when you're reaching in to find it. So I decided not to. And what I did instead is changed into this one, this burgundy um, Michael Kors wallet that I have because you can see it when it's on the inside. So I always like to have a bright colored wallet in a dark interior purse so I can grab it very easily. Right, Rosie? Yeah. The leaves are so pretty. I think that you might enjoy seeing them if you don't live in the Midwest. So look at that. Oh my gosh. Everyone who knows me knows how much I look forward to this tree changing every so year. This is my daughter, Paulina. She's home <laughs> from college and she's sitting at my vanity where I usually film. And she was just getting ready. <laughs> putting on her eye makeup and she was using her finger. I should come sit where I was sitting before. Yeah, sit by me. You okay. can pop up the phone. No, I'll sit. Well, maybe. Let me see. Here, just put your phone here. Okay. 
<laughs> oh look, okay, so this is my daughter Paulina and she's home for the weekend and she's sitting at my vanity getting ready and she, I was just sitting here visiting with her and the way she puts on her makeup is so cute. She uses her finger for just about everything. She's so I thought I'd include her in my, in my vlog. So this yeah. is Paulina, she's 19. Hi. Yeah. She's home from college for the weekend. She's a nursing student. We're going to a, yeah, I'm a nursing student. <laughs> um, we're going to a family party today and I'm doing my basic look. Show them what palette you're using. I love this so much. I came home here. How do I show it to them? Hanging in Hawaii. There we go. It's Car is it Carly Bible? A BH Cosmetics. Oh, BH Cosmetics. She got that for her birthday. Yeah, I came home one of the like first weekends at college and we went to Alta, of course. And I saw it and I was like, this is the prettiest palette ever. So when she got it for me for my birthday, here, we'll give you another. It's all the warm colors that I love. I feel like you right now. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, so I did some concealer and blush and highlighter. Oh, show them what, what you used on your lips. Oh yeah, I just went through all her lipsticks and I found some Nivea. I found out about this from Beauty by Anne Marie, the Nivea. Mm -hmm. um, Blackberry lip care. Balms. Um, she had done a video showing all these new Nivea lip balms. They're really nice. So Paulina really likes this one. It looks like her lips, but just a little yeah, bit better. Yeah, it's already on. She doesn't usually wear too much makeup and she doesn't wear lipstick and things like that. So tinted balms are perfect, right? Yes. And it smells like blackberry. It smells like blackberry. <laughs> it is really nice. So now everybody can make fun of me putting on my eyeshadow. Nobody's going to make fun of you. I started already. We did some. What did we do? Show them what you did. We did, um, with this finger right here, <laughs> we did Shaka, that kind of brown right there all over. And then I added in some Ohana pink. <laughs> and what else did we do? Aloha. I like to use a lot of colors. I said to Paulina, <laughs> wow, you're putting a lot of colors right on top of each other. And she said, well, that's why God gave me 10 fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, so yeah, busy. now we got to look. Hmm. I think we're, <laughs> we're going to go in. We got cheeky. It's a little darker. So we use the third finger now. <laughs> And I like to just, I usually just, start by using some bright color, like the orange, and then I don't really like how bright it looks, so then I mute it with some brown on top. Oh, well, that's pretty. Thank you. It does look pretty, surprisingly. I, to I told her that it's going to look okay in the end. Um, I was telling Paulina you know, when I do this, I, they usually look muddy when I layer, but for some reason it looks really good on her. God gave me these 10 fingers for a reason. So, what was it? The beginning of the summer. My best friend got dermatitis and she would complain about it a lot. I don't know if you can see it. It's just around right now my mouth. I cover it around my eyes because now it's spread up there. I've had it like since the beginning of summer. So it's a long time. I don't know what's causing it. I keep changing my routine. But We took out the acid. Like she was using salicylic acid and what else? Astringents. I changed my, yeah, I got rid of astringents. I changed, I'm just using CeraVe lotion now. I don't, I don't know. Nothing's getting rid of it. So I stopped concealing because I just recently spread to my eyes. So I'm still concealing that one, but I stopped concealing around here. Usually within a few hours of the day, it'll turn less red. So, so if any of you have that. any ideas, yeah, tried, please or, help. <laughs> you've tried cortisone, right? I do cortisone every morning, every night. A lot of it. It's you always a lot of it. Just a lot. Uh, it's not going away though. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So yeah, that's what the red around my lips are, but... Hopefully it'll go away eventually. I don't think anyone can see it really. Yeah, you can only see it a little with the light. So usually I use the the real. I recently got this too by Benefit. I love it. But today we're gonna try Essence False Glasses. I'm joking that I feel like it looks like a dry erase marker, but we'll see if I like it. Stuff is seeing Elmo back there. I know. <laughs> Tell him about your brother. Oh, that's my brothers are, I don't even know what they're doing. I don't think they're playing Xbox right now, but they're singing out the Elmo's room. Yeah, I like this mascara. I recommend it. Have you showed this to them yet? Mm -mm. Well, you said it's a knockoff of what? 
We got a knockoff, but uh, it's not a it's not a dupe. It's just like a really good mascara. Oh, okay. Yeah, never mind. I'm thinking of something else. But yeah, extreme volume and curl. Everyone knows about Essence, so like really <laughs> cheap and really good. They I personally have, give it the A plus. They also have an eyebrow, <laughs> but it might be too light for you. Their eyebrow stuff is really good too. Here, this brows it's probably more for like too light for you nadia still has my gimme brow mm, i know i just get my eyebrows though so okay. I, do i need it no okay yeah i All usually right. spray some some what's it called perfume yeah perfume on my face oh um, setting, setting spray yes i have i have some in my room i have some here i have some is it good stuff oh do we wait i want to show you i have a sample from a long time ago i'll spray my own face i'll be right back sometimes i i use Elf. I really like Elf. But I have one by Tarte that I really like too. Where is it? Yeah, I think it's Tarte. Ready, set, glow or something like that. Oh, here it is. Ready, set, radiant by Tarte. Let's just, just go for it. We switched places. There we go. Oh, that looks nice. See, mine's Tarte too. I've left oh, it here for a while. Which one do you have? A rainforest of the sea. Oh. Okay. Marine boosting mist. Yeah, hold it up for them. <laughs> Helene has this. One. I've had this sample. I left it at home for a while, and so that's why I'm happy. I'm home. I want to use it. Okay, there you go. No. Sorry, I think I just hit you. Mm -mm. It has a little spray on it. Mm -mm. But do you smell it? it? Smells really good. It's like citrusy. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so <laughs> I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. It's been going on for a few days now. So. <laughs> Anyway, I'll end it with Paulina. Yeah. It was nice, it was meeting, nice meeting you. you. <laughs> I'm Bye. finally here. Bye.